Uh, overall, what do you, what do you think the revenue stabilization act says, says about the budget? And what, I guess what, what agencies you know, took a hit? Yeah, it, it was a compromise, obviously, from the, from the governor's balanced budget. Um, again, as I said, we left uh, most, almost all agencies flat or took a reduction with the exception of, of uh, adequacy in K-12 public ed and then the prisons. So that was a priority for the governor. Everything else is flat or reduced. Do you know which ones took, no, no, took a reduction or took a significant reduction? Um, off the top, um, I can't say. It's at least they're right. not significant reductions. Right. Good point. Is, how's higher ed? Is, are they actually taking a hit or are they flat? No, higher, hit, higher ed is held flat for their for the money this year. You know? And when you say prisons, you're talking about community correction as well? Right. Okay. I think, about, I think my understanding was it's about six million dollars total. Corrections. Community corrections. So where? Explain the essential services in the twenty seventy eight. Sure, but they're completely different things. So where do you want me to go first? Explain the central services. Okay. Uh, State Central had impacted the budget because it was uh, it was uh, minus twenty nine million when we went in to discuss RSA. Uh, through having some agencies and different entities pull back and then finding some one-time monies, we minimized the total hit of, of um, the state central services on the, on the A category. Uh, the 27th pay period... So how much of a hit is it on state central? It's about $15 million, approximately $15 million as opposed to the 29. Okay. Uh, and then the 27th pay period, as you've read, the governor's comments, uh, the land commissioner fund balances uh, stepped up and helped us with the 27th pay period crisis to the tune of about $12 million. And there were some other one-time monies that were found to get us up to about $15 million. And then the rest of the agencies are just going to have to absorb. Okay. Yeah, getting back to some services, $15 million what comes from one time to five? State Central was short $29 million, which required that they go out and hit general revenue to that amount to cover that. And so now they're having to go out and hit general revenue to the tune of about $15 million. If it's so bad about your arm. I don't know. I'm used to it. Uh, $15 million. Do you all have any kind of agreement on or on GIF? Yes. What's the split? Yes. Well, it's really not a split in the sense that uh, there's very little money. And the governor's uh, priorities are the quick action closing fund and then some one-time needs that he has. And then, then House and Senate will have some priorities relating to one-time needs, higher ed, economic development. Uh, again, total money is about uh, $50 million total. How much are you uh, basically, we're putting the money over there in a way that, that can be fluid for him, depending on what his needs are. But I would imagine 25 million plus would be just quick action closed. So half of it would be. Again, he has the flexibility to move that from state needs to quick action, depending on depending on what he uh, what he needs. So what does that leave over for the house? Itself? About 10 million total on the legislative side, as far as the statewide needs that we'll try to address. Okay. And uh, I know it's been discussed, but go over again the decision not to grant any cost of living raises. Uh, the, once we got into uh, revenue stabilization discussions in Category A with the state central services need, the 27th pay period crisis. Uh, we felt the best we could do is maintain the pay increase that state employees got this year and then have the career ladder money still in there, but that's as far as we can go. Look, you know, looking at you know, looking at those those pretty tight where you've got agencies either flat or you know, with you know, some uh, some kind of uh, some kind of cuts. Do you still did you still think it was wise for you all to do the tax cuts uh, that you did? Absolutely. If you look at the general re general revenue hit, it was about at the end of the day general revenue eleven twelve million dollars, and uh, we think that that was a, something that we could do. Uh, where we've got folks uh, maintaining their budgets or slightly under, funding uh, education adequately, taking care of the prison need that the governor feels very strongly about. Uh, so I think it was a good balance of, of resources and a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. Just make sure I understand. So on GIF, just to make sure I get the numbers right on. So it's 10 million, 10 million total for the legislative side. Uh, it's 50 million, approximately 50 million dollars available for general improvement funds. Uh, 
and we're going to spend $50 million on statewide needs, economic development, higher ed, uh, statewide water needs, projects like that, because we're clear on what that money is supposed to be to repair uh, air conditioners in state buildings and all of that. Uh, as far as those priorities, uh, the legislature will preside over about $10 million, and the governor will preside over approximately $40 million. And you're expecting at least 25 of that 40 will go toward quick action closing funds? Uh, again, that's just a neighborhood. We've given the, the governor a lot, of, a lot of flexibility there as far as how much he wants to use, and that depends on what opportunities uh, pop up along the way. We felt like it was best to give him uh, as much money with as much flexibility to meet those statewide needs, one of which is quick action closing funds. Okay. Thank you. We're going to maintain services, we're cutting some taxes, and we've got a balanced budget. I mean, that's what they need to take away, especially when I mean, we're maintaining our commitment to uh, education adequacy, we're cutting taxes some, services are not being cut, and uh, with the current economic times compared to other states, uh, it's a good thing. Why, why didn't you all take up the, uh, the governor's letter on Secretary of State? Uh, I still not, I've still not heard from the governor on that, and there's still a lot of discussion about whether that's the right thing to do or not, and, and so uh, I'm not sure we're going to be dealing with that. The, uh, is, do you think it's uh, possible that you all might just, just not take it up at all? There's, there's a possibility, yes. All right, thank you. Thank you.